everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making red velvet cupcakes. These are so delicious, they're pretty easy to make and they require a few ingredients but really simple ones, ones that you would usually have on hand. Now uh, we are also going to be making a delicious cream cheese frosting to top them and it is going to be wonderful. For now all the ingredients we have here are for the cupcakes and then once we are ready to frost our cupcakes I will show you the ingredients that we will need for that then. So let's go over what we'll need here. Here we have some sugar, some buttermilk, here we have some flour, baking soda, and some salt. We will also need some vanilla extract, red food coloring, some vinegar, just some white distilled vinegar, and here we have some vegetable oil, some unsweetened cocoa powder, some eggs, and some butter that has been softened at room temperature. You also want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And you also want to have some uh, muffin tins that have been lined with some muffin liners. I'm just using some muffin cups that I place on a tray, but you can use either or whatever you have or whatever you're comfortable using. And that's about it. So let's move on to making our red velvet cupcakes. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is sift our dry ingredients. So our flour, baking soda, and salt. Okay, and once we have done that, we will set this aside and we will work on creaming our sugar, our softened butter and our vegetable oil. And we will cream those in a separate bowl for about three to four minutes until they have a nice light and fluffy texture. Okay, so our mixture here looks wonderful and I uh, whisked my mixture for three minutes and now I'm just going to clean the sides here, make sure everything is well combined. Okay, this is wonderful. Now we're going to add in our eggs and we're going to add them in one at a time, whisking after each addition. Okay, so now we are ready to add in our vanilla extract and we are also going to add in our red food colorings. Now remember the um, list of ingredients is in the description box as always for you there. Okay, so we will measure this out, add it in and then we will be ready to whisk again. Okay, so now into our buttermilk, we are going to add in our vinegar and we're going to give it a quick stir. Okay, so this is good. Now we are also going to add in our unsweetened cocoa powder into our sifted dry ingredients. So you wanna sift your cocoa powder as well because sometimes it has the tendency of having little lumps and things in your cocoa and you don't want that in your cupcakes. So now we'll sift this into our other sifted dry ingredients. And then we are going to add our buttermilk and our dry ingredients into our batter that we have been uh, creating up till now. And we are going to alternate them. So we are going to start off with our dry ingredients and we will end with our dry ingredients. Okay, so our batter looks perfect and now I'm just going to 
go through what I did. I added a third of my flour and then half of my buttermilk and then another third of my flour and then the remaining buttermilk and then lastly the remaining of the dry ingredients. And now this is perfect. We are definitely ready to prepare our uh, cupcake liners here. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using these little cupcake cups, but you can use the muffin tins and liners. That's perfectly fine. And uh, you just don't want to fill them up right to the top, probably about half to two thirds full, and that will be perfect. So have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to be using my ice cream scoop and that's it. So let's move on to preparing our muffin liners. Okay, so I ended up making um, some cupcakes in the cupcake cups and I also made some in the liners. So the ones in the liners baked for exactly 18 minutes and the ones in the cupcake cups, they baked for 28 minutes. So just um, for your information, if you make either or, that's roughly around the time they will take. But just make sure that you use the toothpick method if you're unsure and uh, it will be fine. So that's that. Now, just a couple of tips before we move on to making our frosting. When measuring out your cocoa powder, you want to make sure that you do measure it with a measuring spoon. You don't want to add any more because it will darken your cupcakes. And as for the um, red food coloring, you want to make sure that you add enough so I ended up adding in an extra tablespoon into my batter. So that gave me a total of two tablespoons of red food coloring. And uh, just keep adding some in until you notice that it is, a, it is a nice red color and it will be fine. So um, that's that. And now we are definitely ready to go over our ingredients for our cream cheese frosting. Okay, so for our cream cheese frosting, this is really all we are going to need. We're going to need some softened cream cheese at room temperature, some softened butter at room temperature, some milk. Now it'll be about one to two tablespoons depending on um, how the frosting turns out. And we will also need some icing sugar, also known as powdered sugar. And that's about it. Now that our cupcakes are completely cooled, we are ready to make our frosting. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to beat our uh, cream cheese and our butter until they are a nice light and creamy texture. Okay, so my butter and cream cheese here whisked for about four minutes and every once in a while I went in with my spatula and scraped the bottom and sides just so that it becomes more of a creamy texture and we don't have any lumps of cream cheese in there. And now what we're going to do is gradually add in our icing sugar and then once it has all been added into our mixture here, we are going to add in some milk. Now I'm going to add in one tablespoon at a time. So maybe one to two tablespoons should be sufficient, but you will notice uh, when you're uh, whisking your ingredients, the texture it will be. So you will know if you need to add in another tablespoon or so, but I will let you know how many I will be adding into mine. Okay, so after adding in all of my icing sugar, I whisked my ingredients here on high for two minutes, and now we are ready to add in some milk. So I'm going to add in one full tablespoon, and we are going to mix, and then see how that goes. Okay, so after adding in the one tablespoon, my frosting is still a little bit thick, so I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of milk and I'm also going to add in a probably about a teaspoon 
of vanilla extract. I did not mention that to you in the beginning. If you don't want to add it in, you don't have to, but I feel that uh, it is best to add in a teaspoon. Okay, so my frosting here whipped for four minutes and I didn't add any more milk. It was just the two tablespoons. So once you have added in the remaining milk, just make sure that you let it whisk for about four minutes on high speed. So that's what will give us our nice fluffy uh, frosting as you can see here. This is perfect. And now what we are going to do is we are going to place this in our piping bag and we are going to be ready to pipe our cupcakes. Now just make sure that your frosting is at piping consistency. That is what is very important when making the frosting for these cupcakes. Okay, so as I mentioned before, you can use whatever decorating tip you like. And um, as you can see, I just made little rosebuds here on top of my cupcakes. You can decorate it any way, they're gonna be delicious. Now, if you want to add the little crumbs on top, like I did in the middle ones here, what I did was I uh, put a cupcake in pieces into a food processor and I processed it until it became nice, fine, small crumbs like that. Just that's all you have to do if you want to decorate them like that. Besides that, we are definitely ready to try one. These are amazing, they're moist, they're very, very delicious. The cream cheese frosting is just perfect. And they are pretty easy to put together and I promise you, you are going to love them. And that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.